Coming up on Around Kern County, the 2022 election season is almost here. We're showing how residents can get involved in this important democratic process by volunteering to be poll workers. And Kern County wants to hear from the community. We're sharing how residents can make their voices heard on what services matter most to them when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ellie Soper. The 2022 state primary election is right around the corner and you can help be a part of democracy by volunteering to be a poll worker. The Kern County Elections Division is inviting the community to take part in this rewarding experience as an opportunity to do something good for our country. A poll worker, also known as an elections officer, is a volunteer who works at a local poll site on election day, partaking in everything from welcoming voters and guiding them through the voting process to assisting with closing polls at the end of the night. People should volunteer to be poll workers because obviously it's a great volunteer opportunity. Um, you get to assist the voters of Kern County um, and you really get to play an active role in the process. Our volunteers are really on the front line assisting our voters at the poll sites. So they're just serving as an extension of the elections office. We have over 150 poll sites throughout Kern County. So we staff them with volunteers. So we really rely on our volunteers. Poll workers will also earn a stipend for their time. To see if you're eligible to volunteer and to apply, please visit kernvote.com. There's a new way for residents to get involved with their local government. Right now, Kern County is seeking feedback from our community. We want to know about your priorities and what services matter most to you. Residents are invited to join in on a community conversation and provide input on local services. Right now, you can visit our Kern County website to fill out the Maintaining Safety, Local Control and Essential Services feedback form. Your comments will help ensure Kern County's tradition of responsive and accountable planning as we prioritize the needs of our community this year and for future generations. To get involved, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. The Kern County Library is encouraging reading to local newborns, infants, and toddlers with a free literacy program for pre-readers. The goal is 1,000 books before kindergarten and to help parents understand the importance of literacy even before a child can read. Reading to young children not only gives them the necessary confidence to become strong readers in the future, but also provides a special way for parents to bond with their children. It is an opportunity for families and caregivers to read together and encourage the importance of reading from a young age. Children who are read to when they're young are academically more successful when they enter kindergarten. And so that's why the whole goal is to read a thousand books before kindergarten. It's a program that we're offering all the way up to ages six years old. So parents can come in with their kids and sign up and get a wonderful host of incentives to participate. And when they're finished, they can say that they've read a thousand books before kindergarten. It sounds a little intimidating at first, but if you read one a day, it only takes about three years. So it is a very achievable program. If you're reading more per day with your child, it can be achieved even quicker. Right now, you can sign up your family to join the reading challenge by registering for the 1000 books before kindergarten early literacy program. Anytime your child reads a book or you read to them, you can log it online or on the library's paper log. To sign up, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. Kern County Public Works is helping residents get a jump on their spring cleaning by holding three household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of March, which if you can believe it, is next week. Beginning Saturday, March 5th, Public Works will hold a collection event at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Residents can also get rid of their waste on Saturday, March 19th at the McFarland Delano Transfer Station 
and Saturday, March 26th at the Lebec Transfer Station. Residents are encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For hours of operation and addresses, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And we're ending today with some gorgeous shots of Kern County blanketed in snow. This week, a storm came through our area, turning Kern County mountain communities into winter wonderlands. Take a look at these beautiful videos showcasing our Kern County mountains covered in snow. Also, some much needed rain drenched our valleys, turning our hills green. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.